Hi, welcome to the video Amazon S3 List Objects Examples using AWS SDK for Java. I am Nam Haming from CodeJava.net. Through this video, you will learn how to write Java code that uses Amazon Web Services Software Development Kit or AWS SDK to list objects in a bucket, list objects in a specific folder of a bucket. To follow this video, you must have an Amazon Web Services account an AWS IAM user and have the AWS SDK for Java installed for your Java project and you may need to follow the video how to set up AWS SDK for Java for Amazon S3 first uh, and then come back to this video okay let's get started uh, firstly let me sign into the AWS uh, management console to show you uh, some buckets some objects in a bucket okay and I'm going to sign in as uh, an IAM user okay I have signed to my AWS account using uh, IAM user and go to S3 service. If you don't see S3 here, click the menu services, uh, storage, and S3 here. Okay, and you see uh, this is my address account, and I have three buckets. You can see here, which the origin is uh, US East, and let's see some objects in the bucket. Uh, now public images you see I have something uh, something called folders here uh, side logo and uh, this is an object and click uh, this object is an image as you can see in its name show me logo parks.png and this object is uh, identified by an unique key you see the key of the object here Sai logo slash show me logo box dot png this key uh, uniquely identifies the object within the bucket and if you click Sai logo and you see properties it doesn't have a key that means Sai logo is not an object is is just part of the object key it is just uh, part of the uh, object uh, this object you see in the key of this object side logo here make sense uh, let me explain to you so uh, in Amazon S3 everything within bucket is object no folders or file although you see uh, it uh, displays uh, folders here but uh, they are not actually folder they are just parts of the object keys and an object is uh, identified by a key which is unique within the bucket and let's uh, consider this uh, uh, directory like structure you see and uh, in this bucket I have actually three objects object 1, object 2 and object 3 uh, which are three images and you see is uh, product images 18 and I just here are just past of the object keys they are not objects of folders make sense so uh, with Amazon S3 uh, no concept of folder or files just object you see the user photos here just uh, part of the object key uh, you see it doesn't have key and go in a folder click this object and you see is key is user photos too so that means uh, user photos and two are uh, just parts of this object's key you see now I'm going to show you how to write Java code that uses uh, AWS SDK uh, to list objects uh, in the bucket okay so this is your Java Maven project in Eclipse IDE and in the project file form.xml I declare the dependency management for Amazon AWS SDK POM here version 2.15.0 and the 
dependency for S3 here. Okay, now let's create a new Java class here. List objects example. And this uh, would be a simple command line uh, program. So I write a main method here. And firstly, uh, we need to create a new uh, S3 client object. Clan equal S3 clan builder build to use the default uh, address origin. Okay, and then and then we create a new request object for listing objects. List objects request request equal list objects request builder, and then we specify the bucket name. I specify the bucket name here. Bucket name and then build this list objects request. And you see on the address management control, I have the bucket name now public images now code backup. Okay, so uh, uh, let me uh, list objects in this bucket name code backup first. Name code backup. Okay, and then we call the method uh, list objects of the S3 client interface. List objects here, yeah, passing the request object and it returns the list objects response object response. And then we get the content of the response uh, like this response contents and it returns the list collection of S3 objects. You see, list uh, S3 objects, uh, objects, and then we uh, can uh, iterate to each S3 object in this list collection to bring out the details such as the owner name, the size the key of the object so here i use an iterator objects a list iterator list iterator list uh, iterator and i use the while loop list iterator sorry it should be the object list iterator as next and then i get an as an object of type as three object from the iterator list iterator next it is an s3 object object and then i can get the key mm. string key equal object get key oh i just uh, print out the detail the, the details of this object like this System not out of print line uh, object key and then uh, object owner and object size. Okay, now I can run this uh, Java application, Java program. To list our uh, objects uh, in the bucket nap code backup run as Java application. And you see it prints uh, the objects in the bucket. Here you see Java projects, Java projects, PayPal checkout demo zip, 3 zip files. Uh, and you see there are four objects. Uh, in this uh, bucket, you see uh, this here uh, uh, an object, uh, but it looks like a folder because I created uh, this object uh, manually. Okay, so far so good. Uh, let me update the code to list objects in another bucket. Now, Public images 
ok and run this program again and you see it uh, brings uh, many objects uh, in this uh, bucket so to limit the number of uh, objects in the result you can use this method so when uh, building the request here you can uh, specify the max keys which is a maximum number of object maximum number of keys uh, in the result uh, i want to list only uh, uh, 10 uh, maximum keys so i specify the number 10 here and uh, run the program again and you see now it brings uh, only uh, 10 objects uh, in the market here you see in the first folder brand logos here and you see the owner id and the size of object in the key this is a key of object you see Uh, let me change the max keys here to 100 and uh, run the program again okay so we have uh, 100 uh, keys here and you see it prints the object keys uh, in brand logos and cartoon images okay um, but I want to list only objects uh in the folder uh, brand logos here yeah. so i can update the code like this i need to uh, specify a prefix here yeah. i want to list only objects uh, with the prefix uh, brand logos here yeah. okay and run the program again You see now it uh, lists uh, only objects uh, in the uh, brand logos uh, folder. In other words, uh, list only object keys that containing the prefix uh, brand logos slash. You see here. Yeah. So that's how to uh, that's uh, how to list objects uh, in a specific folder uh, within a bucket. okay let me change the prefix here to list objects in another folder uh, product images okay run the program again okay you see and uh, uh, for each uh, product i have the many miss here and then some other images in the i just uh, folder here but I just want to list uh, only uh, the many images of the products. I don't want to list the extra images. So to exclude uh, the objects uh, that containing the extra uh, word here in the key, you can use the method delimiter here. And I specify the uh, word Actions, so it will list the objects that uh, doesn't contain the actions what in the uh, keys okay and uh, run the program again and you see now it lists only objects uh, whose keys doesn't have the actions what you see so that's uh, basically how to write java code for listing objects uh, in a bucket in a specific uh, specific folder in Amazon S3, you can specify the bucket name here, uh, specify prefix, uh, specify limit, uh, specify maximum number of keys in the result to build the list object request. Okay, so far we have learned how to write Java code that uses AWS SDK to list objects uh, in a bucket and list objects uh, in a folder of a bucket on Amazon S3. Let me sum up. Uh, 
Firstly, you need to create a list object request and uh, specify the bucket name to list objects in the bucket. And to list uh, objects having uh, a prefix, you use the prefix method. And this is basically to list uh, objects in a specific folder of a bucket. And you can limit the maximum number of keys in the result by using the method max keys. And you can uh, use the uh, delimiter uh, method to exclude the objects that containing the delimiter. And then uh, build the list objects request object. And then call the list objects method of the S3 client interface. And then it returns a list collection of S3 objects. So you can iterate to each S3 object in the collection to uh, get the details of each object returned. If you like this uh, video, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.